Blender is known for having a lot of updates throughout the year. And to be specific, it gets for updates each year from the Blender Foundation. But for this year, it has changed. The Blender Foundation has unveiled the release and update schedule for this year and they decided to decrease the number of updates where Blender will only feature 3 updates per year instead of 4. According to the company, having many releases per year enables quick iteration and progressive improvements. Still, based on the developers' and users' experiences with the previous schedule over the years, the Blender Foundation has decided to reduce the number of releases to only 3 per year one of which will receive long-term support in order to satisfy users' needs and minimize the workload and pressure on developers. Also, another reason Blender is cutting back on updates is the extra work that goes into each one, including documentation, release notes, organizing builds and tests, in addition to overlapping development stages. Therefore, having few releases each year will cause as a consequence less overhead and less time between releases for new features and enhancements. This new schedule will allow more time for the Beacon 1 phase, which is the phase where Blender has the most big challenges and new features. And it will also expand the Beacon 2 phase, which is the improve and stabilize phase. This schedule also aligns better with major annual events such as Seagraph, Blender Conference, and the holiday periods. So this year is gonna be a transition period. Therefore, Blender 3.5 will remain unchanged with the expected release that is gonna be at the end of this March. And Blender 3.6 will continue to follow the old schedule to be released in July, with support until July 2025. The 3.7 version is going to be skipped to leave more room for Blender 4.0. And this will add extra week for Beacon 1 to allow for bigger changes, and the release is expected to be in late November. The goal of this new schedule is to have a new long-term support release every year and support for two years, and a new major version to be released every two years. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe to this channel to stay updated with the latest news of 3D software and the CG industry. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.